Hi, welcome. This is the start of something incredibly special for me. It has been a dream of mine for a while to be able to let's play my own game with someone else's level design in it. And finally, I can eat one of these tasty morsels that's been sitting here waiting for me to get to it. I am going to play Detonation Delve by Red... Sir, sorry, I don't know how to say your name. <laughs> the bomb bugs just won't stop coming. You've been tasked with finding and destroying their nesting grounds. So this was one of two custom worlds made during the playtesting process. And as much as I wanted to play it, I had to save myself for when I could actually do a proper recording session. This is post-release. As of recording, I'm on game version 106. Quite a jump from where what we just saw, because that was like everything in Tower of Destiny was recorded in 102, actually a little before it, the in-development 102. Anyway, so, uh, world from a playtester here. There's another one, and there are several more by now. The, these might be coming faster than I can get to them, which is fantastic. Anyway, let's play. Okay, so we're uh, still on the title screen music. No way back now. Oh, this is very exciting. So Broken Bridge. I came this way, not going back to the snowy area. We got room down here, room here, room here. So there is a room there. Okay. All right, into the depths. Yeah, okay, like there are rooms in all these places. These are places we might end up going. Okay. Oh, hey, so that was a one-way ladder. That's right, that's a thing that's possible here. If the path to progress cannot be found, you may want to step aside, clear your mind, and explore new avenues. Okay, so I'm in the entry hall. We got four infernal doors there. Oh, this is very exciting. Mind the gap. Okay, well, there's an infernal key already. Ah, this is so good. Okay, so here we're already exploring. Yeah, so Detonation Delve, Bomb Bug. This is a Bomb Bug world exploring mechanics perhaps beyond what's shown in Tower of Destiny. I see exactly what's going on here. This is pretty cool. So what's going to happen here? Let's get just these to a convenient spot first, I guess. I'll park you over there. That'll do. So there is a mechanic whereby... A, uh, okay, let's see, how do I want to do this? I haven't done this very many times. What's your move order? I need to know. You're number two, you're number three. Okay. The push block is number one? Yes, okay. So this one explodes first, then this one. All right, so push blocks, when you put them in water, normally this happens. Right, okay, so yeah, so I could just do this and step on that, but that's not getting me anywhere. Uh, I could try to put a bomb bug on there, but that's never going to happen. So I need the push block here without falling in the water. And guess what? That's actually possible. Wow, how the heck do I do it, though? Okay, like... The spot I want is... I gotta think about this for a bit. Like, I've played with this briefly, but, but again, I haven't made any rooms that explore this concept. So basically, I need two explosions to hit this block. Blocks have a little bit of hang time. So if one explosion puts it here, then another explosion pushes it here before it falls, then it will actually make it across the gap. But what's my angle of approach? Probably... Like, I need a place where I can set off either a chain or two bomb bugs at the same time and I can walk to safety. I think chain's more sensible. Like, I've done exactly this before, but how did I do it? <laughs> if this is here and I push diagonally... See, like, I need one here and there. In those two spots, that's just not viable. I can't have them chain like that and I can't stand here to blow you up and survive. Man, how did I ever do this? I know I've done this before. Here and here. There we go. That's the one. Is it? Yes. Yes, that's the one. Okay. So num except except I can't Okay, so can I rotate this? 
if it's going that night move, I should be able to rotate. Okay, so in that case, I was doing first explosion here, second one there. So if I rotate, that's first explosion here, second explosion there. Okay, so I want you bomb bug number two right here, you bomb bug number three right here. Okay. Ooh, that took some thinking. But I believe this is the configuration I desire. I'm gonna need you norther than that, which means you're gonna get out of place and it's gonna be a whole thing. All right, let's position you first. Hmm. Yes, that's... Okay, it's gonna be a whole thing here. <laughs> yeah, so look how few elements there are here, but this is, uh... This is quite a puzzle with just these few elements. That's not what I want. I want you to be... Oh boy. It's one more north from there. It's here. Okay. Uh, yeah, sure. I, I hear you. Not there. Shoot, no. So I rotated this, but... But I did it in such a way that it was... Okay, the block was going here. No, that doesn't work. My rotation is incorrect. Man, I, I am having the hardest time visualizing this. You are two, you are three, you are one. Oh, that's funny. This is an old room. Or is it? Let's see, how does this work? At some point, the placement order of push blocks and monsters change relative to each other. So even though the push block was later in reading order than the bomb bug, it got an earlier turn order. I forget which way around is the current way, or if this room's just old enough to have had the push block placed in such a way that, uh, that it does that. Anyway, I want this here. At some point. I want a bomb bug. Yeah, okay, so this is the first explosion, this is the second explosion. Okay, so two goes here, three goes here. Two here, three here. Block there. Shouldn't be so hard, and if I just put three in place... Okay, so three. First of all, two, you get out of the way. Three, you come over here and go to, let's say, this spot here. Now, way over there, you'll do your job momentarily. Sorry, this is the other way around. You are three. Okay, so three. You come here. Two. You need to go... Okay, yeah. <laughs> this is pretty good. All right, so... You are two, right? You are two. But three needs to be in that row. Okay, yeah, so... This is my precondition. Three. No, dang it, it's the other way around. <laughs> I am struggling in my own game. This is also something I was looking forward to. I am gonna get, like, absolutely stumped by puzzles in this game that I made. But puzzles I did not. Okay, so. That's the configuration I want. You come here. You come here. So. Okay, but what's the explosion order? Hold on, if this blows up that, doesn't that explosion happen first? Okay, so now hang on, regardless of bomb bug move order, the explosion order matters, right? Yeah, okay, so that exploded in the other order. Got it. So, the way to think about this is different. So it doesn't matter what the monster order is, that's nice. It, it matters what the explosion evaluation order is. By the way, explosions evaluate in reading order, so when this explodes, it does uh, explosion processing here, 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 here. I don't think it does one on its current tile. Here, 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 here. Because yeah, there's just nothing to explode there. So like if this chains to an explosion, then that explosion is spawned. Then later, after this finishes processing, I think, then these will process. Anyway, this will work. There we go. Okay. <laughs> All right, that's one room. Got an infernal key. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was beautiful. Hop on, okay. We got stacking? No, there's no stacking. We're doing bridging. Also, waypoints 
hella waypoints. Oh, this is fantastic. All right, so same room waypoints. That's another thing. There is one room in Tower of Destiny that has same room waypoints. There are zero rooms in Tower of Destiny that have waypoints in a room with monsters. Excuse me, what? No, no, that's normal. Right, yes, okay. And uh, again, <laughs> I'm, I'm forgetting my own mechanics here. What is this? Monster gate open, okay. Right, so waypoints can be a puzzle mechanic, by the way. So like, notice, I move that bomb bug there. I travel, bomb bug's still there. I haven't left the room. Okay, and there's monster gates here. If I explode a bridge a certain way... See, I also might need to reach this from another angle. So I can use this to go over here. Let's explore for a bit. Toggle switch. Yep, that's what it's called. Okay, so there's a room here. Oh boy, okay, so this, this goes for a while. Let's look at the waypoint room one more time. Did those register? Yes, so those remember. I don't have to have the room cleared in order for those to save. Only way this is exploding is if I'm over here. There's a room there, of course. This is a hallway that goes there. I suspect, based on what I'm seeing, that I'm taking this hallway over there and reaching you... Then doing same room waypoint travel, having activated this. Right, and I can also explore to the east. But then that leaves the question of what are the push blocks for? One, two, three. Oh, okay. Maybe I don't need to go anywhere at all. Maybe that hallway goes in the other direction. Okay, there we go. Monster gate open. That's fine. So check this out. Hop on one. Okay, so right. These are in the order I discovered them, but the numbers are in the order that they are in... <laughs> Reading order in the room. Of course, an open monster gate is not a walkable surface. Also, did I know this? <laughs> so traveling to a waypoint on water will just kill me instantly. Yeah, that's expected. Okay, yeah, and that counts as water. Okay, this is super fascinating. Right, because open monster gate does not create a floor. A closed one would take me up high on the monster gate when I traveled there. So all I've managed to do is activate that, but I can't actually go there. I can go here. Let's do that. ATM, okay, cool. Locked. Ah, I got access from there. All right, so we got multi-room traversal, four sky keys. Unlock four sky key doors to get this, open that, and proceed to the south. Oh, this is fascinating. Okay, let's open the ATM and get the cash out. Cash is in the form of an infernal key. This is a structure. A structure I'm gonna have trouble surviving interacting with. So I got a couple more tools there. You are directed in that direction. So, I mean, feels like what I want is to chase this bomb bug into that spot without killing it. Blow it up to get rid of all of those. I can drop this monster block there, this one here to take out the angry eye. Sounds good to me. Yeah, you're afraid of that. Sure, I gotcha. Now, let's not move you too far. That looks like an okay distance, maybe? I'll lose a little bit, but I can regain it by going this way. And I mean, at this point, I don't actually need to be chasing. I can go the other way around. Let's lure. And I need you to survive the process. I need to do that too. Uh, oh, right, there's a second angry eye, of course. Okay. Let's maybe... Oh, I've gotten myself in a situation. Let's use the monster block. 
So a specified amount of chase. Actually, I want you all the way. Oh, careful where you put that. Let's do it here. Okay, that seems good. Oh, okay, right, of course, it shot. And that's workable. You can come across. Bridge to here. And there we go. Got me another infernal key. Great. Alright, so I can't do anything here until I have more sky keys, but I did get an infernal. So, yeah, careful which waypoint you use. Let me take one more look at the situation. Your explosion could move. Do I want to create a stepping stone here? That would mean stepping stone there, and then explosion on a push block that's there. And I don't have enough to do that. I don't think I can. I am kind of suspicious of like the way all of this is shaped, but I think that's just to let me activate that waypoint from here. Probably. Nothing else of interest that I can reach there. Let's think about this a little more though. Like, I'd have to either defeat both of these, which requires me being there, which is... Maybe... Oh, right, no, no, I can't access that from this side. No, I do have to solve it from this side. Right, of course. Because I can't use this to travel. I keep thinking I can walk here, but only half the time, because I know I can't. Oh... Okay, so there's, a, there's another thing to this. I would... Let's do some magic. Check it out, I'm on top of the block. I hopped on. Cool. Does that help me? Does that help me? Here, let's reset the room from here. So I have no monster blocks. I cannot push a bomb bug. I can only pull it. Ah, but... Yeah, okay, I'm getting something here. So I do what I did. Probably. I hop on one. I do this, then I hop on again, put a block in that spot, yes. Now I bring the bomb bug over and it can just explode the thing there for me, right? Mm, little souther. Yes, look at that, okay. Oh, oh, this is so cool. Check us out! Boom! <laughs> I didn't even think of ex escaping the explosion with, uh, with waypoint travel. This is so good! It's like taking concepts that I imagined when I was setting up these mechanics, but just never quite got all the way to. That's so good. Wow, I love this. Ooh! And now we're in a different... That's scary. <laughs> Bumbug wire! Wow, okay. So different section here. And yes, I can return that way. All right, that's great. Let's look around this area. I want to kind of stay in the area that I'm in. Let's do toggle switch. Because there's an infernal key here. There's some color of key here. It is infernal. If I can get four of them, I can at least see what's over there. Maybe. Yeah, that sounds like a reasonable goal for the day. Ooh, did I just see... I thought I saw something. Okay, maybe I imagined it. I'll see it in video editing. Possible bug. Alright, so, by the way, toggle switch on top of a monster block. I've seen one on top of a... There was one on top of a push block in Tower of Destiny, but that wasn't movable. This is fully movable. And keeps its wiring and everything. So, wherever I put this down, that's where that's gonna toggle. 
I'm gonna guess for some reason I want it here. Maybe not. Okay, so anyway. Kill the monsters and take the key. I need... So if, if I had... So multi push blocks, by the way, that's cool. If I had my toggle switch here and a stepping stone there, I could access this, which is necessary for pushing you in the drink. So I think that's achievable. What I would do... Yes, that should be doable. Uh, I guess you're closer to the north, so let's do it from the north. So one multi-push here. Don't know if there's any significance to these being multi-push. I might need their multi-push properties. I might not. Right now I'm not using them. Oh right, another monster block in the way. So let's use priority or something. Here, I'll just do this. Hmm. I'll just do this. So you're very afraid. You're differently afraid. Now you're unafraid. Now you're re-afraid. Oops, right, okay. I need to use priority once again. If I'm speedy, can I just do that? I mean, I can do it this way. Uh, I can do it this way. Okay, you're where I wanted you. So stepping stone placed there. Toggle switch placed here. Twing! Twing! There we go! Cool. Alright, room cleared. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on in layers here, but I, I don't know if I can draw this any better. It's just it's, it's about as readable as it's gonna get, I guess. <laughs> anyway, it's good enough. Cool. Pull the rug. Alright, we got sacrifice altars now. Yeah, so this continues in at least two directions. Looks like three, since that's a corner. I'm suspecting these four infernal keys aren't all there is. But I'm just going to get those and open those doors and see what I'm working with. Okay, so we got Sacrifice Altar and Hot Coals. There was a bug related to that, but it's fixed now, so don't worry about it. What am I doing? Okay, so monsters to kill. Those. What the? Okay, right, you. <laughs> Uh, toggle floor on water. Okay. What's your story? Your story is I do what I'm doing with the angry eye, which is beaming that snake. I go in here, kill it manually. This is still closed. I put the monster block on there. That scares you there. That kills the monster block and you. And these three have died in the process of doing those things. So, like, what's the issue here? Why can't I just sacrifice a bomb bug here? Oh, okay, got it. That, right, I didn't notice this was also wired to the toggle floor here. So this has to be simultaneous. Oh, fascinating. Simultaneous sacrifices on those two. Because if they both sacrifice same turn, this won't open fully enough to dunk you in the water. But I do need both of those open. Alright, so simultaneous, those two. I have a monster block to do it, couple of rocks, and... How do I think that's gonna happen? I have an idea. So, also this probably needs to stay a monster block. Yes, that's why this mechanism exists, because this has to stay monstery to scare you. Okay, this is, uh, this is gonna be a tricky one. I'm sensing this may be, maybe a bit more to this than the other puzzles I did today. 
Okay, so I have three bomb bugs with two sacrifices that need to be made. The one extra... See, the way the monster block could be involved here... Either a bug is being scared by it horizontally... And I use an explosion or something to get it to stop being scared, or just push the thing out of the way myself. Or just get between it and there. Hang on, right, so the, the distance of these two altars is what's messing me up. Am I scaring something vertically with this? Possibly? Like if I change my setup a little bit and put, let's say, oh, sure. Put you here, let's say. Then you know, I can set up a, uh, a fuse of sorts. Well, I haven't done it very well, but like, imagine that bomb bug's here. No, here. Pushes that there. But there's not enough space to do that twice. I can only push one onto the altar, but it feels like that's a thing that I'm doing. While simultaneously pulling one from another side? Pull the rug. Okay. Plausible. Alright, so one friend here. You just kind of sit in that area for now while I figure out the rest of my setup. So I would want you... Oh. But if I'm going diagonal... Let's actually put you one more north. Uh, will I be able to do this? Yeah. So like that? No. Like... Okay, you'd have to go... Okay. Okay. Bomba routing. It's a process. I want you south of where that is. If you were right here... Oops. Ignore me. Thanks. See, that's not... Oh no, one more north than that. Yeah, other one's coming on the scene, that's okay. I don't mind too much. One, one more north than that. Here. No, one more north than that. Here. Mm, this might be... Could this be workable somehow? I mean, I got multiple problems here. But the idea being... The puzzle state would look something like... Oh. Here you. Look my way. Yeah! Mm. Not with your scary properties making this flea all the way over there. How close can I have you to me? Not close enough. So the delay on this... One, two, three turns. Okay, so I, I put one of you in a bad place. I don't think this is going where I need it to go yet. The spot I wanted you was just there, right? I think. So, uh, no, 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 don't, don't look my way right now. Here, look, look there. You come back. No, not that far. That's fine, I can go around this way. 
So like, this is kind of what I'm thinking, but it's wrong. Because this involves pushing the block. Also, you don't explode. Okay, well, could I have... So I can't explode this thing orthogonally, really. It's gonna have to be diagonal in some way. Huh. This is a challenge to think about. So it's two bomb bugs blowing up on these. I need to conceptualize how I could lead one. Not quite sure how to connect the room title to this. Like, I understand you're describing the action I will be taking. But what's going to look like a rug pull? Right, yeah, so no orthogonal explore unless... I mean... Here's an orthogonal explosion. But that's not helpful. This does have to be truly same turn, like I can't break this like in spectacles or whatever. It does have to be exactly the same turn. If a thing is scaring you... Could it stop scaring? Yeah, okay, I got something maybe. Okay, here we go. This is simpler than I was making it out to be. I th I'm not so sure about that. Alright, so both going horizontally. Oops, no, that's not where I want you actually. But no, that does not work. I don't have the distance for any such thing. Like, I can't do anything at a distance. This is the only thing that acts at a distance, and it's all locked away. Yeah, there's just like a lot of possible ways to set this up. All right. It's happening. I'm being stumped by my own game. I love this. So... Probably a diagonal explosion. I'm pushing this northeast, northwest, southwest, or southeast. In order to get it into or out of a bomb bug's line of sight. It's going to have to be out of if moving horizontally, into if moving vertically. Like, I feel like I'm setting off a reaction that moves a monster block into or out of one bomb bug's line of sight is appropriate. While setting off the other explosion myself by being close to it. Or like being in this row and leaving that row. Okay, so that means I'm going to be in one of these rows on the turn I need the magic to happen. Not necessarily. Okay. And there's still the possibility of pushing vertically. That's different. Okay, now couldn't I? Couldn't I though? Okay, so going back to this concept. Explode from here. No, explode from... Well, I can't do it this way. Yeah, so a diagonal going against where... Like from here, you would just be running that way now. So it'd have to be like the outer angle. This or that coming down in here to push that way. Okay. I don't think that's the route, though. I 
right, I need some actual thinking time on this, because just like, I need to prune some lines of reasoning because I have too many open, and I'm not sure which ones are the promising ones yet. Alright, it's only like 30 seconds later, but I've had a moment of clarity. There is action at a distance. So my suspicion now is that I'm setting up something that looks a little more like... Okay, you, you all get in a different different row from each other, maybe. Uh, okay. Let's just do... Yeah, yeah, sure, that's fine. So something that looks a little more like this. One going west, one going east. Yeah, here we go. So that's synchronized now. What I gotta do is have set off an explosion moving this out of the way in the previous turn, and then step south on this turn. Okay, that clarifies what I'm doing. Cool. And yeah, so I have lots of distance to do that. So you need to be in line with this. I need somebody... over here in this area. You will stay right there and do exactly everything I need you to do. You get out of line with that so I can put you in this spot better. Sure, you can move over a little bit. I'll reposition you when I need to. Okay. Sure. You go here. And... Yeah, I can just be, like, off by one from this, right? Mm. This doesn't feel quite right yet. Ah, uh, it's... it will be when I put this in the appropriate spot. Is this enough space? Kinda close. Okay, let's get a little bit more time on the... you. A lot more time, maybe. All right, yeah, you're looking that way, that's great. Uh, look this way now. Come here. So I have the wrong amount of time. I can tell. Ah, uh, okay, so I don't have enough distance on that. Got it. All right, so I can solve that by moving you up, moving you over. Yeah, I can have a lot of distance here. Use the full width of the... Okay. Great, something like that. And let's just not get your attention. Okay, so this is plenty of distance. The positioning looks... I'm gonna want... Northern one so much closer, probably directly next to the thing. Yeah, okay, so it's gonna look like this. Uh, this spacing, maybe? One less, like this. There we go! Oh, that was so cool! Alright! <laughs> <laughs> and I still have my monster block accessible. You do the laser thing. You do the dead thing. You do the scary thing. There we go. There we go. There we go. Beautiful. All right. Yeah, that one took uh, that one took some pruning, because like there were a lot of possibilities of how I'm gonna get these things together, but the final way was quite elegant, and I'm very happy with it. Okay, good stuff. I. Mm, so here's the thing. I'm not sure what kind of commitment spending these keys is going to be. Tower of Destiny is structured carefully so that you can never waste a key. Anything goes for other levels, so I don't know what this one's policy will be. I'm going to want to, at the very least, make a save before I spend these. And I'm just going to save that for next time. We'll probably start next time by looking at what's through these. And then exploring the other puzzles that are available. There are a lot, and there's another... there's a whole other section here. I love this. I am... You no, know, hang on, it happened there. So I went there, I clicked this. No, I previewed from there, I click this. Somehow I'm getting the the inspect pop up when it's not supposed to be there. Alright, so, a bug to investigate, as always. Alright, I will see you next time for some more of this. Looking forward to it.